Mr. Pierce is here. We can do that one. Although I'm a little ahead of time. Laura, will you let the prosecutor know that we are going to start early with Evan Pierce? I think Mr. Pierce was scheduled at 1030. Your Honor. Oh, is he? Okay. Well, then he's right on time. Yep. <clears throat> I don't know if the prosecutor is available. Mr. Pierce, why don't you come over here and have a seat? This is file 23339FY, People versus Evan Pierce. Uh, Mr. Pierce was arrested on February 27th. He got pulled over for a routine traffic stop and it went sideways. He had a set of metallic knuckles and he was charged with resisting and obstructing a police officer. He had a different view of it. At any rate, he pled to attempting to resist or obstruct a police that officer. Is All right. All right. Thank you. Um, and the matter was set for sentencing today. Uh, Ms. Davis is next door, trying to be two places at once, and maybe she'll join us here in just a moment. Uh, defendant is here with his attorney, Rhonda Ives, and um, there was a body cam video that I requested, but I never got, so I haven't seen it. Um, I actually brought um, the thumb drive and my laptop because Mr. Pierce was going to show up in my office and review it too. Mm -hmm. And um, he wasn't able to because of work. So I just brought it with me. And by the time I got done, he didn't, he didn't, by the time he got here, he hasn't reviewed it either. But essentially, Your Honor, this is one of these cases where my client was just simply not obeying instructions by the officer. He wasn't, he wasn't physically. I mean, we see different levels of these kind of cases, but this wasn't one where there was a... Just a moment. Can you take Melissa back to lockup so can. she can see yes, uh, the inside of a cell? Yes. I mean, so she can see uh, <laughs> her client? Oh, I'm sure she's seen a cell I'm sure there too. Times he wants to put me there. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um. So there's always different levels, as you know, you're honored to these resisting and obstructing cases. And we've got the far extreme where you've got someone who's just, you know, fighting back insistently and creating, you know, injury and havoc. And then you've got the lower levels. And I would say that my client situation is more on one of the lowest levels because he was simply just refusing to get out of the car. He felt that the stop was unjust and we were going to kind of battle the stop, but clearly there was reasons to pull him over. So we didn't do that. He kind of felt the stop was somewhat unjustified. And I think he was more hard headed than he was trying to fight the officer and there was no physical fight. So I guess from his perspective, that's what I just need to explain. And I think that's what the video would, would show. Perfect. Probably right on the money. All right, Evan, when you were younger, you and I used to see each other quite a bit. Then I didn't see you for a long time, um, like years, and here we are. Um, I did read the police report, and it is consistent with what Ms. Ives just said. Um, it's a current phenomenon Uh, where people, particularly people of color, are apprehensive when they get stopped by police officers. And uh, you weren't really doing much except not cooperating. And then you had this set of brass knuckles, which was a folding knife with brass knuckles in them. And we've seen those around for years. Um, what do you want me to know? Hmm. Um, they're really not called brass knuckles or warfare trench uh, knuckle busters. Um, 
Brass knuckles. It's a brass knuckles to me. Well, these are, okay, they guys. fit under the definition of the statute. It's a felony to possess oh, those. They've this. dismissed them. Yeah. You used to be able to buy them at the county fair. People would say, where'd you go? I got it at the fair. Uh, <laughs> anyway, brass knuckles, a very old statute. Yeah. Um, 100 years old, maybe. Um, but that's dismissed. You weren't threatening anybody doing anything with it. You just had it there with you. Yeah. Um, do you remember where you were coming from? Um, I was actually getting out of work, picking my son up from work and coming home when he made his initial stop. I was actually on my own property. Well, what you got stopped for was not using a turn yeah, signal. Not using a turn signal. Uh, there isn't much less than that other than having a tail light out or something and my son was was his mouth about his my my daughter's my daughter's autistic and he was really making me mad but i was trying not to say nothing was she in the car also no actually she was looking out the window when the cop pulled me over but yeah my son was running his mouth about my 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 daughter you know how this was going to upset her? No, how dirty she was and stuff like that. He oh, he's making, saying this yeah. to you while... He was making me upset, and then the cop pulled me over, and it just all boiled over, and yeah, it's a bad day. <laughs> very, very bad day. My son, uh, I, I raised both of them now because their mom don't want nothing to do with them now. Who's their mom? April me. Very how old are they? Uh, my son's 22. My daughter's eight, just turned 18. Does she's she not, get SSI or anything? Yeah, she's not really autistic. It's just being with her abusive mother for all these years. And I tried to get her away and everybody thought that I was the abusive one. But she's doing like really, really good now. She's going so you're a single day. dad with two kids? Yeah. And three Stafford Terriers. <laughs> yes, sir. Which are also known as pit bulls, and I'm not a big fan of them, but yeah. uh, so be it. Um, they weren't involved in this at all. Oh, so no. you weren't drinking. No, I don't drink. No drugs. Um, you don't owe anything. You got an unpaid parking ticket from 2021. Yeah. Um, I don't know what a probation would do. Um I forgot where you're working. Um, I quit my job because the stress was so much because of uh, what happened and how the cop acted and how he uh, sexually grabbed, groped me while he was searching me. And it's just, I yeah, ended up quitting my job. Where were you and working? I ended up getting another job at Gray Iron in Three Rivers. Which is what? Um, metal technology. Yeah, metal technology. I wear the hat right now, and I really like it there. I make quite a bit of money. Yeah, they pay pretty well there. Are you yeah. working overtime? Yeah, yeah. It, no, it I, down. <laughs> I do not believe that there was a sexual assault. There's no reflection of any of that. Although it certainly is uncomfortable to get. Uh, yeah, he reached in through my trousers and, and grabbed a hold of something well, <laughs> it was not very comfortable all right well i wish the prosecutor could be here and they're trapped next door um all right again Do a three month probation. I'm going to order one day credit, one day. I'm going to order a $75 fine, $75 crime victims' rights fee, a $50 state minimum fee, a $150 attorney fee, and that probation is non reporting. more than 20 hours of community service within the next 90 days or five days jail. You're also to pay your speeding ticket. I mean, parking ticket. 
probably don't even know you even have it. It's two one one nine three four. Okay. Parking tickets is about low on the totem pole as there is, but it shows as unpaid. So that's three fifty here to pay for the community service. Um, not ordering any additional jail time. What shift are you on? Second, I gotta be there by one o'clock. All right. So I'm half dressed. Well, it's hard work, but it pays well. Yeah, it's very hard work in the back. I do the smelting, so. All right. Well, for you, it's steady work. The benefits are pretty good there. And the metallic knuckles are forfeited. All right, I want you to take this form downstairs to the probation department. And they will get you started and give you some direction toward community service. All right, you're good to go. Well, let me give you an envelope regarding the fine. All right. That totals 350. Let me see if I have any. There's a PR bond. Three months. 830 and 20. All right, go down to probation and good luck, sir. All right, thank you.